Welcome to the Burnbury Farms Culinary Academy series. I'm Chef Michael Bonaccini and I'm going to share a delicious recipe. In fact, it is the world's best frittata. I guarantee you that. And it is quick, easy to do. And let's face it, anything with eggs is going to be super tasty, delicious, and I like to keep them easy. So to start off my frittata, all I really do is start to sweat down some delicious ingredients. A splash of olive oil and a little butter is the great way to kick off most savory recipes, especially when it comes down to cooking up a little onion, a touch of garlic, and some beautiful leeks. And leeks this time of the year are absolutely perfect for this kind of recipe. And all I've done is I've diced them up reasonably small, taking out the larger green, tougher outer leaves, because I just want the tender pieces. Now, the beautiful thing about a frittata, in my mind, is it is so versatile. It is so easy to make, and you can use just about any kind of ingredient you have knocking around the house, in the garden, left over from last night's dinner, and add to it. And it makes the perfect dish for breakfast, a delicious brunch, an amazing lunch, even a light supper. Mm, and the smell coming from this pan right now with those leeks, garlic, and onion, it is absolutely intoxicating. A light seasoning of salt and pepper. Two most important ingredients in any kitchen. It brings out the wonderful flavors. Beautiful. Now eggs, such an important piece, as you know, to any frittata. And they are, in my opinion, the world's most unique ingredient. They are so good for you, so healthy, so quick and easy to use. And they are the cornerstone ingredient in any kitchen. We use them to enrich them, to lighten, to bind, to add depth of flavor, and to make amazing, shiny, glazy, and glossy pastries. Just crack four beautiful farm fresh eggs. You know, maybe five. I'm feeling a little generous today. Into a good bowl. A little whisk up. and a touch of seasoning. Oh, beautiful, look at this. See the way the leeks and the onions are melting down there? Just the way I like them. Now they're softened up quite nicely. I can add some beautiful fresh mushrooms. And once again, mushrooms, vegetables, just about any ingredient, whatever is seasonal. And the best way to find out what is seasonal, go to your local farmer's market, go to your local high street store, or just wander around the fresh produce aisle. And those seasonal ingredients will certainly speak to you. Now, I've got a little bit of squash left over from last night's dinner. And hey, tomorrow it might be a little sweet potato or boiled potato. They are the perfect kind of ingredient to add color, taste, and texture to this amazing frittata. Just look at those beautiful colors. That is looking delicious. Now, just to lighten the eggs a touch, I like to throw in a splash of good milk. Nothing more than that. I've got some grated cheese. And I do love a good cheddar cheese, something that has a little bit of a nip to it. But you could use just about any cheese imaginable. Open up your refrigerator drawer. If you've got beautiful cheddar, use it. If you've got goat's cheese, go for it. If you have wonderful Gouda, perfect. Really, any cheese will do the job. The cheese is going to enrich and bind and add another layer of flavor. 
Now I'm using a non-stick pan and the reason why is it's going to guarantee that my frittata will slide right out super easy. But before we get to that point, in go the eggs. Now over a gentle heat, just work the eggs into the vegetables gently, gently, gently until it's evenly mixed and starts to firm up. Now a frittata can be made completely from start to finish on a stove top. It can be finished off in the oven. I like to throw mine under the broiler. It just helps to lighten the frittata, add a little bit of color and texture and make sure that it is cooked to perfection. Boy, that looks good. Now, a little chef's trick. We like to take a little butter, such as a, a little knob like this, and just run it around the edge of the pan so that butter drizzles down between the frittata and the pan. And make sure that this delicious egg frittata doesn't stick. And everything tastes better with butter. I think you'd have to agree. Beautiful. Now, a quick minute under the broiler. Christian, would you do me the honors? Yes. There we go. Give that a quick broil for me. You know, every great kitchen needs a great sous chef, and I brought mine with me, Christian. I think my frittata is just about ready. Christian, is the frittata ready for me? So exciting. Thank you, kind sir. That is absolutely gorgeous. Just take a look at that. See how wonderful and light and fluffy the eggs are? The amazing colors, how inviting that looks. This is just the beginning. Now, I need someone very special to share this beautiful frittata with. And who better than the most knowledgeable person I know that has all the information about eggs one could ever wish to know. And that is Margaret Hudson from Burnbray Farms. Come on in and join me, Margaret. Hello. <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. Great to be here. It Thank looks you. gorgeous. It's coming along. And without those delicious eggs from Burnbray Farms, this would not be possible at all. What is it about eggs that make them so special and unique? Well, even just this lovely frittata, all those vegetables, the, all the nutrients in those vegetables will be more easily absorbed by people because they're eaten with eggs, because you need the fat and cholesterol in eggs to help with the nutrient absorption. And it, eggs are the most unique one uh, food that can provide you with such great nutritional value. It is so versatile. It can do so many different things in the kitchen. They're full of protein. They're full of, they have choline, which is important for your brain. They're, they have uh, folic acid. They've got uh, all kinds of nutrients. Lutein, which is great for your eyes. They're nature's vitamin pill. And they have so much more than I ever thought they ever had. It really do. And there's been a number of studies that, that uh, have shown that eating eggs does not cause heart disease, which I think is a concern of many people. Let me show you what I do with a frittata now that it is cooked. It should slide right out of the pan super easily. And all I'm gonna do is take this frittata and gently ease it out of the pan. If the egg guards are kind to me, it will just come right out. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of arugula just over the top. I like to take a little yogurt or even sour cream or maybe a little bit more cheese like goat cheese. And again, the garnishing of this delicious frittata, you can go to town, you can pull out the stops, you can impress people to no end. I'm adding a little smoked salmon. Looks gorgeous. Do you like a little smoked salmon? Yes. Wonderful. And you could use prosciutto, you could use a little smoked chicken, some lovely cooked ham that's left over. It really comes down to what you have available, what's in season, but most importantly, it's what you like to eat. 
and who you'd like to share it with. We take a little more salt and pepper. Just a drizzle of good olive oil. And there we have it. Look at that. That is a beautiful frittata. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Yes. Oh, so beautiful. There's a fork for you there, Margaret. Tuck in. That's exactly the piece I would have taken. <laughs> Uh, you're very welcome. Two delicious eggs. Let's get cracking. Mm. The savory flavors of that frittata, along with that smoked salmon, turn this into something really quite spectacular. For Burnbrae Farms Culinary Academy Series, I'm Chef Michael Bonaccini. <laughs>